film because it's a film that we set out to do, which would be very true to its authentic, you know, its ethnicity, its its authenticity. We wanted to like shoot the film in a small town in England, and it was a story about that. But the way Hansel wanted to shoot it, we were like, we can't have people speak in Hindi. The people, the local people living there. So we said, let's make a Hindi and English and a English film, but let's stick to you know its truest form. So somehow I just wanted to do it. I thought after like you know twenty five years, if if it's not now to experiment and do something different, it's gonna be never. And I've always actually tried to do that with films like Chameli and Dev, uh, very early on in my career. So it's no different now that on its twenty fifth year, if you know, I would want to do something different because every other film, the commercial genres like the crew and Singham and everything is so much a part of my DNA and it's always going to be a part of me. And, you know, that's going to be life. But I also want to do things and try out different things, you know, sometimes as an actor as well. So it's important to strike that balance and I'm happy I've done that because uh, you know, people are watching that version of the film, of the English film, and loving it. So, it's it's a sense of it's a good feeling to know that okay, people will go to brave out different films as well. Lovely. You know, uh, I would love to work with him. Um, I mean, right now he's like also going to take blood because he's you know start coming for the first time in a terrible film that's releasing next yeah. week. So I think that people are really excited. So I would love to do something with him uh, soon, hopefully. Niharika, Karina spoke about It's actually a very good question. It's one of the best questions someone has asked me wow. because it really makes sense. Your question makes sense to this. Um, so yeah, I guess it is. It's this thing that whether, you know, the more glamorous you are, maybe you're not taken seriously as an actor. It's... I mean, you know, people, I guess that's just the way maybe people think. But now that when they see my choice of films and what I've done, I think that, you know, proves wrong that you can't really judge a book by its cover and you can't really make judgments before you see. But of course, the image of being this, I don't know, like you said, I, 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 I never looked at myself as that. Because I always stay away from, you know, people saying these sort of things to me because... I've always preferred to be, you know, with my ear to the ground because it's so important for an actor to constantly have that, to know the reality of situations, the reality of, you know, what's happening around them. So I've been very, very lucky that I'm that kind of person and I've focused on my performances. And it has taken the, those number of films for people to take me seriously. That now that when Buckingham murders come, they're like, okay, fine. You know, because I've constantly been at it, proving myself. But that's also probably been the reason of the longevity that's given me that. Because, like I said, you know, that I've constantly been at it, trying to prove myself also as an actor. And I think, yeah, hopefully, I, I, I mean, I don't want, you know, anyone to say that, okay, wow, you've done it all, now what? Because I think I want to constantly keep proving myself still. I think there's a long way to go still. Thank you.